child Tears, yes, tears She doesn't want me to say Beneath the painted smile And the latest crazy style There's a girl so warm Who's waiting for me I only know I want to hold her Kiss her and tell her that I care And when she feels that she is lonely I'll be always there So in a little while There'll be no frightened child No more tears She doesn't want me to say Her painted smile's just for me Her painted smile's just for me Mark? Mark! What? I'm not going. No, thanks. Mark, did you hear? Mark, will you please listen? I'm not going tonight. Not going tonight? To the club. Tonight or any other night. I'm finished. Now, what's got into you, huh? Kleine, that's what's got into me. Oh, look, Joe, we've been very careful. Now, Kleine isn't going to find out anything about us whatsoever. Careful, lucky, and we're pushing it. And so what? The police have no proof against us. The police? Don't you listen? Don't you ever listen? It's Kleine, Mark, Kleine. Can't you get it through that thick skull of yours? I'm getting out. Well, I still can. All right, my love. We move on. I mean it. Well, there are plenty of places we can go. Manchester or Brighton, perhaps. That suit you? It's laddered. Not your night, is it? No. It's just I've, I've got a feeling. Oh, I don't know. Now look, we'll be out of here tomorrow, I promise you, okay? I'll get you a drink. <clears throat> Need any help? Well, that depends. Now, am I going to the club? Or am I not? Oh, I like the deco, oh, so do I. Come on, let's get started. Started? Rather. Come on, Tom, what are you waiting for? Well, it's... Look, this is your celebration. Come on, Roy, give me a hand. Now, come on, live dangerously, no rules. Forget your spoken word, just for the right thing. What about Mary? Oh, Mary won't do anything about it. I give you my word. Your word? Yes. Good night. Oh, Tom, come on. Then I'd rather look, go to another time. One night of fun. 
Something to remember. The night we lived. Come on. Now, pick an easy one. One that'll fall quickly for my injured husband act. I'll do that. Now, don't forget. Tomorrow. I promise. Bye now. I've walked alone where flying fishes play. I've seen the dawn on San Francisco Bay. You. I've sailed a dream boat down the river Nile. I've lost my heart to Mona Lisa's smile. I've dined with kings, but all these things could not replace another you. Come. Right, boys. From now on, you're on your own. <laughs> Good evening, ladies. Uh, won't you join us? Uh, get some chairs, Roy. Right? Now, what's it going to be? Champagne? Well, I... Waiter! Champagne! He's not paying. Now, Tom, as the hero of the hour, you shall have first choice. Only, uh, don't choose this one. Lucky me. Well, they're all so attractive. Oh, the perfect gentleman. You would take him anywhere. But I can only find two. Uh, oh, mate, any more chairs around, are there? Let me do the introducing. I'm Lucy, that's Gloria, and that's Dawn. Well, come on then, Gloria, me darling. You come and sit right there. Well, well, introductions of ourselves would be superfluous. For in a few weeks' time, we shall all be unrecognizable. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Because, my sweet, by then we shall have ceased to exist as individuals. Society will have put us to the test. And found us wanting. Done their revision yet? Oh, be quiet. Look, any reference to studying tonight is a dirty word, right? Now, where was I? Oh, yes. She will reach out and give us respectable haircuts, dress us in nice grey suits, white shirts and striped ties. Of conventional design, of course. And having turned us into pillars of society, she will start us on the slow but comfortable walk to the grave. Any chance of you stopping talking long enough to give us a cigarette? Why'd you call him a hero? What's he done? Nothing. You can't believe a word he says. He's a Welshman, you know. Indeed, you good less, you'll never guess, would you? It's <laughs> enough from you. Well, what have you done? Well, I won a prize. How nice. What is it? What was it? What was it? Only a hundred pounds, that's oh. all. A hundred pounds? <sighs> Oh, well, it's only money. Oh. Filthy capitalist. What about you? Me? I don't need money to make me attractive. Empty pockets always make the most noise. Well, well, well. We've got a right one here. It's vessels, dear, not pockets. It's more apt her way. Shall I pour? Lady, as far as I'm concerned, you can ooze. <laughs> <laughs> what are you celebrating? What? Oh, oh, I won a prize for design. I'm studying... We're studying industrial design. Oh, you're a student. Mm -hmm. How fascinating. You must be very clever. Clever? He's a genius. Pride of the Polytech. You'll be working on the bomb next. <laughs> you just wait till the finals next month. Finals? Cakewalk to you, mate. When poor old Roy and I are still struggling with the first question, you'll be finished. Well, let's drink to that, shall we? Right, a toast. The bomb. The bomb. And absent friends.
I'll give you all the money I've got. You're a trespassing mark. Tommy, Tommy, I'll do, I'll do anything. As a matter of principle, you trespass. Tommy, you hear me? Oh, you're going to, Mark. You're going to do something for me. Something very useful for once in your life. Just for once. Useful? Yes, Mark. You're going to be a good example. To other trespassers, hmm? <laughs> got engaged. She's a secretary. Why do you work there? At the club. It pays the rent. Just. You know, you're quite handsome yourself. Where's that noise coming from? How the hell do you turn this damn thing off? all this jazz about defying convention. You defy, don't make me laugh. Why, well, you've still got the marks of the cradle on your fat little... Hello? Have you looked in the bedroom yet, Joe? In the bedroom? Yes, yeah, in the bedroom, Joe. There's some rubbish there for you to dispose of. See you dispose of it well, Joe, and uh, don't leave any mess. Dispose of it? I don't understand. And if by any unlucky chance the uh, 
rubbish is found um, by the authorities. I'm sure you know better than to mention my name. You, uh, you can say that one of your visitors left it, hmm? Police. No! Mud, call the police! No, get it to me! Surely must call the police! No, they'll blame you! The knife! You're holding the knife! I'll tell them you did it! I'll tell them you wrote it, Mark! My restless heart knew from the start there could not be another. Do you understand? If the police come, we're in trouble. Pull yourself together now. That there isn't much time. We've got to get Mark out of here. Understand? Away from here. Anywhere. Away from here. Now, you get your car. You get your car and bring it here. Then we'll think what to do. Police. Police mustn't find him. Police mustn't find him. It's wrong, it's wrong! We haven't any choice. I can't explain now there isn't time. I can't, I can't! You've got to! I'll tell them you had a fight. You and Mark. I'll say you killed him. They'll believe it. Look at you. You touched him. The mess. And the knife! Please, you're too drunk to realize. Now, fetch the car. Please, fetch the car. Please. Now, I'll come straight back. If you don't, I'll call the police. They'll find you.
right outside. Good. Now let's get it done. Here. We need a drink. Drink it. Drink it. Come on. Let's get it over with. Take him out into the country. Bury him. Anywhere, just bury him. You, you drive, I can't. I'm not coming. You're not coming? I can't. I've got to clear up here. I've got to clear up the mess. Wash the knife. The fingerprints. Remember the fingerprints? If you're working on the bomb next. Strange how simple magic things can be. There you were and life began for me. Right, what was the, the bomb? Murder, you hear? Murder! Drunken fool.
child Tears, yes tears She doesn't want me to say Beneath the pain is smile And make this crazy style There's a girl so warm Who's waiting for me I only know I want to hold her Kiss her and tell her what I care And when she feels that she is lonely Body found in his car. Wanted for questioning. I don't know. I, I just don't understand. I mean, Tom, he couldn't have anything to do with it. Well, you don't believe it. Of course not, Mary. No, no I, I'm as much in the dark as you are. Well, then where is he? Why doesn't he telephone? Well, I'm sure he'll come here. Oh, but that won't be safe. You see, if the police have questioned Tom's landlady, they'll be here any minute. I doubt it. Do you think she knows your address? Oh, then they'll go straight to the college. And the office doesn't open until 10. Roy, you all went to this nightclub together. Mm-hmm. Well, then how did Tom... Well, I mean, why wasn't he with you? We separated. Why? Why did you separate? Glyn and I... We saw these two girls home. Two of the hostesses. And Tom? Tom took one home, too. Mary, I... I mean... Tom, what's happened? Look, you see Liz? What's it all about? Does Mary... Yes, I tried to explain about the nightclub and the rest, but she didn't understand it was useless. Well, what happened after you left us? Did you enjoy yourself with your hostess? Mary, I... I what was she? Blonde or brunette? Probably a redhead. That's traditional, isn't it? I don't remember what color. Hell, what does it matter? Oh, but it does matter. It matters to me very much. You just give me a chance to explain. Oh, yes, explain. That's what I want you to do. I want you to explain. It isn't easy. Mary, you are so different. Different from her. I dare say I am. I dare say I'm very different. But you prefer her to me. No. You went to her home, what, didn't you? You went back to her room. There could only be one reason. No, I didn't. It wasn't like that. I didn't know she was a... Glyn and Roy, we were tired of having to conform. We wanted to break loose before society swallowed us up and started us on a slow walk to the grave. Oh, I don't know. I can't explain. It's just that something inside wanted to revolt against conformity. To spit in its eye, that's all. Can't you understand? Mary, try to understand. What if it were me? You? Yes, me. 
Or do I have to stick to the rules? Conform? I want to understand. I really do want to understand. news. Has he rung? Tom. He's here. Oh, thank God for that. What's happened, Tom, for God's sake? I don't know. I can't remember. You can't remember? Well, you'll have to remember. Don't you think I've tried? Look, what happened last night after you left with... Mary knows. Oh, it's all so vague. I don't seem to be able to remember. It's all so jumbled. Look, the body, Tom. The body was in the bedroom. It was covered in blood. I cut my hand. Look, you see. The body, where was it? Look, Look, shut up. I want him to remember. The body was in the bedroom. Uh, I remember a knife. Go on. Yes, I pulled it out. You touched it. Well, it was in my hand. Oh. She told me to fetch the car. I did. But why? Why did you? She said she'd say I did it. That's right. She said she'd blame me. I mean, how could she? He'd picked up the knife. His fingerprints were there. Yes, my fingerprints. And the room. The room was... I was drunk. I must have knocked into something. The place was a shambles. Oh, God, what a mess. Did you discover the body? No, she saw it first. She went to... the phone. She answered it. That's it. She answered the telephone. Then she went straight to the body. There must be some connection. Who phoned? Look, I think you should go to the police. Go to the police? How can he? Look at the evidence against him. Wait a minute. On the way in, there was someone. Limpy. No. Limey. No. That's right, he, wa he walked with a limp. You could hear his walk in the street. She was frightened. I've got to go back. I've got to make her tell the truth. I'll get it out of her. No, you I... mustn't. You might be walking straight into a trap. I've got to. I've got to go back. I can't just stay here. No, let Glyn and Roy go. After all, we're all in this together. Right. We'll telephone you if anything comes up. Wait a minute. Offer her this. Tell her she can have more if this is not enough. Anything. So long as she'll go to the police. <laughs> Mr. McCullough, so be it. You want to buy a book? Not just now, sir. The flat upstairs, it belongs to you. Yes, but I don't live in it. Look as much as you like, the price is inside the cover. I rent it out. It helps to pay for the shop. It's a fallacy. There's no profit in knowledge. Doesn't Mr. Mark Davis live there? No, well, at least he didn't pay the rent. Miss Jo, she paid the rent. I let the flat to her, but he stayed there most of the time. But my wife says it isn't right. I said, what am I, the landlord or the keeper? And so I should keep consciences. So long she paid the rent, don't matter to me who Miss is. Miss Josephine Lake. Uh, yes. So you don't find what you want, go inside. I've plenty more inside. Uh, do you happen to know where I might find her now? No. No idea. I saw her going out a short while ago. I don't know where. She was carrying a suitcase. Where to? <laughs> who knows? A suitcase? Have you any idea at all where she might be going? Me? No, officer. She paid her rent. That's all I ask. Now, gentlemen, what kind of... Trouble. That's all they ever bring, trouble. Those do now. They might have bought three, four, five books. Who knows? Ah, well. Hey, do you remember us? We were sitting over there last night. No. But you must have done. But we were busy. Look. 
We were sitting with three girls, Lucy, Gloria, and Joe. Now, we want to find Joe. Look, we're closed. We don't give girls addresses here. Look, it's not like that. This is important. Well, do you know a man with a limp, then? A man called Limey or Limpy? I said we're closed. Were they here last night? I don't remember. Were they here last night? Yes. Did one of them go with Joe? No. Their pal did. boys have just been here looking for Joe. So? Their friend left with her last night. They also asked about a man with a lip. About a man called Limpy. Or Limey. I showed them the door. By the way, they have company. A plain clothesman is on their tail. Hello? Come in, lads. Those two last night, um, Joe and the boy. Find them. Keep your fingers crossed, Roy. This is our last chance. Wish me luck. What's the idea? I, I want to talk to you, Lucy. Can I come in? Help yourself. It's about Joe. Oh, look, what is this? Waking me up at this time in the morning to ask me about another girl. Well, if that's all you've come for, you can get. No, look, it isn't for me. It's for my friend. You know, the one who won the prize. Oh, him? Hundred pounds, wasn't it? Why do you have to stop him choosing me? Look, he wants to find Joe. Well, he knows where she lives, doesn't he? Went back there. Yeah, she's not there. She left this morning. On her own? I think so. Why? Funny, Mark and I must have quarrelled or something. Look, have you got any idea where she's gone? No, why? I told you because my friend wants to know. Is he the grateful sort? Grateful? Yes, grateful, you know. That won't buy much. Well, there's more if you know where she's gone. It's a pity I don't, then. You don't? No. She come from Bradford. Perhaps she's decided to go back there. Why don't you try St Pancras? What a hope. 
the only one we've got so far. She doesn't know she's going to be there. She only threw it in as a sort of... Look, what else is there? Have we got any other lead? I guess you've got some brilliant suggestions to make. It's worth a try, anyway. Hello? Hello, Tom. Listen. St. Pancras. Well, it's better than stewing here. I'm coming now. on holidays, Joe? Why, what's it to you? <clears throat> Not a thing. Won't you have come with me to a police station? Why, don't you know the way? You're going to tell them the truth, Joe. Truth? About what? About last night. Last night? Yes, last night when I came home with you. When you came home with me? Oh, oh she's just playing for time, Tom. Who phoned you last night? Phoned? Did somebody phone? I don't remember. I wasn't there. What do you mean you weren't there? You'll have to watch him, you know. He gets very violent when he's jealous. What the hell are you talking about? Last night. God knows what you've been up to. When I came back, the place... Back? Was... Back from where? A walk. Don't you remember? I went for a walk. And left you to it. Left me to what? The body? What body? I don't remember a body. You were alone as far as I know. Although, from the state the place was in when I came back, you could have been fighting. What's she talking about? Bluff. It's all bluff. Tell the truth. Just tell the truth. I've told you the truth. If you don't like it, that's too bad. Then why are you running away? Huh? If there's nothing, then why are you running away? Running away? I'm not running away. I'm going home. The girl's entitled to go home if she wants to. Look, Joe, don't you realize what you're doing? Don't you realize the mess Tom's in? Why, what's he done? Can't you read? Oh, what's the use, Tom? You're wasting your time. She won't budge. She's got to! Joe, please listen to me. The police think I killed him. The body was in my car and they think I killed him. All I'm asking you to do is tell the truth. Look, Joe, you can have this. More if you want. Anything. 
If you only tell them I didn't do it. Didn't do what? God, I come! I won't help. I won't do anything. Tom, why don't you and Roy see if you can find this man, this... this Limey? While Glynn and I hand her over to the police. The police? Hmm? Oh, you won't be so... Tom! What's going on? Kleine, let me go. Please let me go. Where is he? Where's he gone? You young fools, you don't know what you're mixed up in. His life may be in danger. He didn't do it. He really didn't do it. I've got to find him, quickly, before someone else does. A man with a limp. They were picked up in a car. Describe it. Well, it was a black saloon. The number was MSS 465. Sergeant, the general alert. Urgent. Right. Is there anything we can do to help? Yes. Pray. He'll need your prayers now as never before. There's nothing to worry about, Tom. We're going to look after you. Tom and Joe. We're going to see you safe from the police. Well, let me go. I won't say anything. I promise I won't say anything. Kleine. I'll do anything you say. I'll do anything you say, anything. Don't get emotional, Joe. I want you to enjoy your ride. You're an educated lad, Tom. Do uh, you happen to know a poem called um, The Last Ride Together? Kleine, I beg you. You got out of your depth, Joe. You and poor old Mark. Now you've, you've just got to disappear. Very unwise, but um, Tom will be there. He'll keep you company. Romantic, don't you think? Killing the boyfriend and uh, fleeing with a girl. Should make quite a story, eh, Joe? They'll never believe it. No, no, they're, uh, you're quite right. They're, um, very incredulous, aren't they? But then, on the other hand, they'll have no choice, will they? Stay where you are. 